Ossuary, and I'm doing both sites daily. Dot com, and I was looking over Google Earth and came across a few structures I wanted to show you. Um, these structures have a lot of right angles, and they don't look anything like a natural mountain. Okay, this is number one. The first one I found. Uh, let me zoom coordinates to this location. There's also a little white triangle over here. I'm not sh too sure about that one, but uh, I am pretty confident with this. You can see the textures in the picture because NASA doesn't want us to see 100% what's really there. Uh, they, they took away a lot of the detail. But we can still see this structure. Right angle here, right angle here, almost, almost right angle here and almost over here. Very strange shape. Okay, not too far away, right above it, it is structure number two. Structure number two also has walls to it. Uh, see the walls along the edges here? Already, they try to block out the top area, unless there's something more important, I guess. Um, right over here, you see almost right angle, almost right angle, so pretty close. And uh, down here you see a lower, very even, all the way across. And up here, um, it's pretty bold and degraded. But if I make it larger, the detail is lost pretty much. Uh, they really destroy the detail on Google Earth. I guess NASA only allows so much detail before the truth is revealed. Okay. Now let's look at uh, number three, which is not too far away. Number three is right up here. Uh, very unusual shape. Almost looks like a Star Wars, like uh, uh, Luke Skywalker kind of home inside of a, uh, a crater or something. Um, but it doesn't look like a crater. That's the weird thing about it. Is also near another fourth structure like building, but the detail on this part of the area of Google Map is really lost, so there's too much on that. So let's focus on number three for now. Uh, this starts showing you the size of these things, these structures. Okay, I will do it in meters uh, because pretty much all of the countries speak English uh, almost agree on that. Okay, from here down, it is 9,600 meters. Holy crap, that's pretty long. I didn't know it was that long. Let's go to kilometers. It's 9.62 kilometers across. Uh, go to miles. 5.98 miles across. Pretty interesting. Okay, clear. Uh, let's go back to one of the lower structures. Here we go. Let's go to structure number two. Okay. And let's go from this edge to this edge. Okay, that's about 14% of a mile or meters, uh, 217 meters. So that's uh, two football fields across just that little area there. And if you go from this top, or top part to there, it's a thousand meters or, or half a mile, or 1.08 kilometers. Okay, let's come down from here, all the way across to about where it goes, uh, two and a half, 2.3 kilometers across. Uh, for miles, 1.4. Now this sounds like a massive structure, it really does. Okay, clear this. Let's go down to the number one structure here. Lost it. There we are. Number one. Okay, go from this edge to this edge. Okay, it is half a mile, 0.58 miles across. If we go to kilometers, 0.93, go to meters, 930.91 meters across. Mm, impressive. 
Okay, let's go from here. Okay, clear. Here, over to this edge right over here. Also, we're pretty close to uh, 1,000 meters about. I got 999.89. Uh, go a little bit further. I'm wondering if this is, <clears throat> they stopped at 1,000 meters. I doubt that they go by the metric system. Um, but this is interesting. Okay, it's about 1,000 meters across. And if you take the total structure length, it's about 1,592 meters or 1.6 kilometers or about, wow, well, one mile. Okay, this is 0.99 miles. Um, interesting, very interesting. Let's clear that. There we go. Clear. Now, if you'd like a fast way to find these three buildings on Google Mars, I'm sure the NASA Airbrush room would like information that directly gets there. This is how you do it. So type A N A Z O N I S P L A N I T I A, and you will find these three structures very close. You might want to keep this video open so you can see the locations on the left side of this area of the map. There you go. And as a message to NASA's airbrush group, you're welcome.